Did Nian Cat make a video calling to free Palestine? Yes, but also no. Let me explain. Behind me is a tweet by the creator of the Nian Cat animation. That's very important. You remember this person created the actual animation. Now, this is a recent tweet, just an hour or so old, that says, Important announcement. The Nian Cat video has moved to an official YouTube page. Nian Cat has always existed to bring happiness to people everywhere. The video lives on here. Now, I want to be clear. This video is old, but this is not the original video most people saw. The other video had something like 280 million views. I will have a link to this tweet in the pinned comment. And there's no mention of Palestine on that YouTube channel. Now, if you go to the channel that hosted the original Nian Cat video, so not the animation creator, but the person who created the video using the animation, you will find that the channel is no longer named Nian Cat. It's named Meow. The channel description is, the meme you seek has been forcibly displaced by the copyright holder, Chris Torres. The original video is gone. There is still a video on the channel that says, Free Palestine with the bold text in the fire with a description of links to help people in Palestine. I'll have this channel in the pinned comments. So essentially the timeline as far as I'm understanding it is that the original Nian Cat video channel, which has been assisted in the past by the Nian Cat animation creator to fight off false strikes, a few days ago the Nian Cat video channel put up the free Palestine video that begins with the same music that Nian Cat does. Once the original animation creator found out what happened, they appear to have struck or had it removed, had that channel changed their name, and are now directing people to their variant of the Nian Cat video. Now, the backlash to this. Well, a lot of people are mad at the creator of Nancat for a multitude of reasons. Some are mad that the original video is gone because they view it as internet history and that yes, the video is technically still up with the copy and it's still an old copy, but it's not the one that really became the viral hit, so they're mad. Some people are angry because they claim that this means that Chris Torres does not support Palestine and they are at, they're mad at him for that. I personally can't find anything with Chris Torres commenting on Palestine. I did find him showing a team of some sort called Nian Cat in Israel, but I was like 2015 and has nothing to do with this. And some are taking this moment to point out that Chris Torres sold a Nian Cat NFT and stuff like that. Um, so in conclusion, the creator of the actual animation appears to have taken down the original video that was done by someone else, have put up their own variant, and the reason that appears to have happened is they do not agree with the Free Palestine video being put on the same channel or having an association with Nian Cat, as they see behind you. It says this exists to bring happiness to everyone. It's evolving. They're probably going to make a bigger statement on this. I expect the person who hosted the original video is probably going to make a statement on this at some point. And I feel like a lot of people are just now finding out. And they're getting really confused because they can't find the original Nian Cat video or the channel. It's because it's named Meow now. Because the original video is down. 